OK, so now we have another elimination problem where, again, we don't have the same coefficient. So that's OK. We'll just multiply by a multiplier. And let's say I want to eliminate the x. So therefore, I know that the least common multiple between 3 and 6 is going to be 6. So I'll just set the multiply at the top by 2. Now, make sure when we're creating a new equ equivalent equation, we need to make sure we multiply our multiplier by everything on our equation. All right, so now, by multiplying by 2, I have 6x plus 8y equals 36. In our bottom equation, I have 6x plus 8y equals 18. Now, to eliminate our variables, I notice that actually both of these are the same value, but one, and they're both positive. So to, when I have the same value with the same sign, I subtract. So 6x minus 6x is 0x, so I've eliminated the x. 8y minus 8y is, a, um, is 0y. I've now eliminated the 0 or eliminate the y, and 36 minus 18 is going to be 18. But now I have an equation of 0 equals 18. Now remember, when we're using elimination to solve a system, we're trying to find the value of x, and we're trying to find the value of y. Well, in this case, I don't have a value for x because I eliminate it. And when I eliminated the x, I eliminated the y. But now I have an equation that doesn't even make sense. It says 0 is equal to 18, which we know is incorrect. So therefore, this system has no solution. Now, when we look at this, think about well, how, how is it possible to have no solution? Remember, our solution is the intersection point right, of, the, of our two lines. So if we have two lines that don't intersect, we know those are parallel lines. So it's possible not to have a solution for our system. And that's how you use it, doing elimination. Thanks.